Hey everyone, I'm Jack Fawcett, and today we're taking a look at the Gecko Pedals EP5 Gecko Plex. This is a serious Echo Plex style pedal workstation that just does an absolute load of things and it's from a small company with great attention to detail and production value. So uh, let's dive in a little bit to what this pedal is. Uh, I do want to mention this is not a sponsored demo, but let's take a look and, and, and kind of at least scratch the surface on everything that this pedal can do. So this is a pretty dedicated Echo Plex style delay pedal if you couldn't get that from the logo, which I actually, I, I, I love the idea of it. I love the way it has the little gecko with his tail around the light and the light pulses along with your delay time. I do want to say one of the things that really was a pleasant surprise about this right off the bat was how high quality it was. Right down to the packaging of the box to the owner's manual, which as you can see I have right here. I'm going to read a little bit from the owner's manual because there's just a lot going on with this pedal. So just taking a look at the face of the pedal. You have gain. This is preamp gain and just like the classic Echo Plexes, you can use this as a preamp which can give you some pretty gnarly drive and output if you really push it. You've got your delay. This is your delay time. I absolutely love that it's on this the sliding dial here it, really really cool volume of your repeats it has reverb which is this great sounding vintage reverb got your number of repeats the tone of your repeats you've got your warp so dialing in the amount of modulation and then you've got your shift and that can do some some wacky sounds associated with the modulation now obviously you have your your bypass switch right here you can set presets. I think that's super, super helpful with a pedal like this. Kind of a modern feature for a pedal that's paying tribute to an old style delay unit. But, you know, because there are so many ways you can use a pedal like this, it really helps to be able to set presets so that, you know, you don't have to bend down and dial in a whole bunch of different ways and, and things and, and you can just kind of get there on the fly. You've got trails. So uh, if you don't know what trails is, it's when you kick it off. It's not a hard off. If, you're tra if you have trails set on, when you kick the pedal off, then the repeats that are already happening will still kind of fade out naturally as opposed to just having it <laughs> signal dead. Uh, and then you've, you've got subdivision right here and you've got a tap tempo. So you've got three different subdivision notes to choose from. Now up top, it runs from nine to 12 volts. You have a tap in expression pedal. This can be run off of an expression pedal. You have, of course, your input and then you have both wet and dry outputs. So obviously there's loads of ways you can use this. First thing that I always look for in something like this is what's the tone like? because that's one of the things that sets it apart, obviously, is it, does it have a good tone? And it really, I think, nails that vintage Echo Plex kind of. There's that, that vintage, uh, there, there's something about diving into the tone and what it does to your tone and adding the echoes and the fidelity of the echoes and the repeats is just what you would expect. The preamp also does all the things that I want the preamp to do it. It hits it in a way that kind of overloads it in a different way. And, and when you know the tone, you really recognize the tone, there's kind of the this dark muffly thing to it for when you you really hit it especially with the preamp gain turned higher I love that it has the LEDs for when you're playing and, and kind of what your signal is and everything now in the manual there are several presets I absolutely love presets and we're gonna go through some of those in a minute I do want to talk a little bit about some of the other things with this first and just show you a little bit first of all so it goes from it from 50 milliseconds way back here all the way up to two whole seconds. So you've got a massive range of delay time and two seconds is a long time for a delay. There's a lot you can do with that. Anyway, with this slider, and of course the slider is just straight out of the vintage playbook again, one of the things that I love, you know, along with the, the kind of the, the black and white styling, but then the modern features just making it so versatile with the presets, the tap tempo, the subdivisions, the trails. Um, you know, having the optional expression pedal sound on sound option. All of this you can go into more detail on on the website, which I am going to put a link to in the description. Now, you can also use the reverb. The reverb kind of gives you like the, you know, the old fashioned, you're in the studio or a hall sort of sound. That can also be used on its own. So let's check out how great the reverb sounds just on its own if you use it without the delay. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now, echoplex has always make me think of Jimmy Page, and particularly using the gain of the preamp and really hitting the amplifier hard. I do want to mention, by the way, I'm playing into the Laney VC30 today, and I am going to do a combination of clean and going straight into the overdriven channel. Now, if you want to really clean it up, you can go into an amps effects loop, but with an echoplex, I do really like going straight into an overdriven channel, partially because when they played echoplexes back in the day, if they went into an overdriven amp, it's not like there were effects loops to go into, and that created a sound that was associated with echoplexes is the preamp hitting the amplifier and the drive and the delay kind of being all up in there with that so to speak so uh, that's part of the sound to me but no you can get also like a cleaner kind of more straightforward sound if you go into an effects loop you know or depending on where you put it on your pedal board however many infinite ways there are to set up your rig. But uh, for the overdriven tones, I am going straight into the drive channel of the amp. So keep that in mind when you're listening to the tone. But let's listen to this. This is this kind of, uh, you know, it's, it's sort of an inspired by Jimmy Page tone with one real powerful repeat. Not a lot of repeats, but this kind of bat bat sort of thing going on. Uh, and using the preamp gain to go straight into the drive channel of the amp. <laughs> Again, one of the things that I like about this in general, you look at the owner's manual, you look at the packaging, you look at the attention to detail. This is some from someone who I don't really know, by the way. It's a, you know, messaged briefly talking about doing the review, but it's not a sponsored review. Uh, but somebody who really, really seems to care and put a lot of dedicated uh, passion into the making of this pedal. And you can tell from the attention to detail and everything. And I just want to read this at the end. There's a whole troubleshooting section, which is helpful. But, of course, the last troubleshooting section says, you know, issue. User becomes speechless or enters an unresponsive state of amazement. Solution. Sit down. Maybe grab a cold beverage and focus on breathing as the full magnificence of Gekoplex settles in. Also, congratulate yourself for reading all the way to the end of this manual. Oh, so I can't congratulate myself because I totally just skipped down to the end there. Anyway, we're going to get onto the presets because these presets are awesome. I'm going to tell you what they are and we're going to go straight through them. So we've got slapback. Now, I love that this is a preset because that's also one of the very classic tape machine sounds is the old fashioned 1950s slapback sound, which is, you know, if you're not a rockabilly player or doing anything old fashioned country, a lot of players will tend to overlook that. But that's one of the sounds of old tape machine delay pedals. So I love that that's on there. Spacious ambiance. This is a super fast echo and then using the reverb, what, they, what he calls a reverberant echoing room. We've got warm vintage tape echo. This is kind of using it as like a classic echo with, you know, sort of that, with that warmer and a little bit modulated repeat. So something very much akin to what you also get out of an analog delay pedal, but really using it as more straightforward delay because you can look at a pedal like this and, and also be intimidated by it like oh geez i don't know that i need something like that there's so much you can do with it that's that's for people who are really into delay but it also just does great delay tones and it's a great delay pedal so keep that in mind this is like for for all the wild creativity you can do it's also just a really cool pedal and then the last one speaking of creativity this is the mothership landing all right, so to close out the videos, we are going to go through those presets one by one. Let us know in the comments, is this one that you've seen? This is, again, it's from a smaller company. You know, it's got the, the number, is number 57 written right there on the back. If you just look at the back, and, and you look at it close up, I'm going to try and show a lot of close-ups here in the video. Like I said, really well 
belt pedal. Really well put together. Uh, if you're into delay, uh, then this is something that you definitely want to take a look at. Uh, is it going to be pricier than a lot of other delays on the market? Yeah, but remember that that doesn't mean that it's overpriced. It means that it's you know you're getting something that was really put together by someone putting a lot of effort and energy into this and you're gonna get better customer service, you're probably gonna get a better built unit than something you can get for $20 from some kind of weird situation overseas. So just remember that. Even though this is more expensive, if you can swing it, this is something that is worth investing in. Again, if you want more details on the pedal, I'm gonna put them in the description below. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Let us know in the comments what you think of this pedal. Stick around for some of those preset tones and I'll see you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.